you know, one of the reasons why people um, consistently um, hate the gospel of grace alone through faith alone in Christ alone it, um, comes down to a lot of the teachers that they're listening to because many of the big name teachers today, that's all they preach. You know, you got to repent of your sins. You got to surrender all to Christ. You got to do this. You got to do that, whatever. It's never rest in Christ and what he's done, but you got to believe in Jesus and do all these different things. I mean, you name all the big name preachers today, whether it's um, on television, whether it's um, on the internet, you know, on the radio, whatever, all of them, MacArthur, Piper, Sproul, uh, Washer, uh, Bauckham, you know, every single last one of them, Ray Comfort, uh, Kirk Cameron, all of them. You know, it's just, um, it's always works, works, works. And, you know, these are just some of the things that some of these preachers have said. You know, the late R.C. Sproul said, um, endurance in faith is a condition for future salvation. Only those who endure in faith will be saved for eternity. That's all works right there. Um, John MacArthur. Endurance in faith is a condition for future salvation. Only those who endure in faith will be saved for eternity. That's all works right there. That's all works right there. Only those who endure in faith. Only those who endure in faith. Only those who endure in faith. In faith. In faith. In faith. That's all works right there. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, both near and far. This is Trevor with Dying to Live for Jesus. And it's my mission to seek the once saved, just as James chapter 5, 19 and 20 tells all Christians to make it their mission to chase down those lost, backslidden Christians that are in danger of losing their salvation. Uh, and today, I want you guys to help me solve this riddle. Uh, it appears that there's some possibly uh, mathematical formula that's being uncovered that can modify faith and actually change it into works. Apparently, this is what uh, this fella at Proclaim His Word seems to be describing, that there's this form of faith that wants uh, time and endurance and consistency, uh, duration is added to faith, and you keep having faith that appears to be the formula in order for it to become work. So faith for a moment equals faith. But after that, if it's faith for more than a moment, at some point it appears that it becomes work. So I'm trying to figure out, I want to nail down this formula because this is something very serious. I don't want to just have a, you know, assume this formula. I mean, I want to know this legitimately. Is it like faith to the second power, faith to the tenth power? Is it just once you move from one nanosecond to the next nanosecond, anything beyond one nanosecond? So is it faith plus an additional nanosecond? Is this when faith becomes works? Because he just quoted a Calvinist, which I don't agree with Calvinists, uh, because they also believe you cannot lose your salvation. But what I agree with uh, Sproul's, R.C. Sproul's here on, is that we are saved by enduring in faith. And that just means to continue to have faith. It means that we were saved by faith and we are saved by faith. So we just need to keep having faith. And I'm just, I don't see anywhere in the Bible where faith is described as works. So there must be some magical, wicked formula. You know, it's obviously a formula you need, you need to understand it just to stay away from it because you don't want to enter this place where all of a sudden you have faith, but but it became works once time was added to it. So we need to make sure we don't add too much time to our faith. If you're having faith right now, you might need to stop it. You might need to stop having faith so you don't enter into works because apparently too much faith equals works and we don't want that so you might want to promptly, abruptly, you might just want to walk away from the faith right now just to know that you're not having, you're, you're not being saved by works because it's by faith and not too much of it. Too much of faith, you've entered into works now. 